the second baseman, Peyton, midway between first and second in the grass. Stevens launches this pitch. It is long gone over the Muzzy Field scoreboard into the trees. The goals lead three to two. The two on pitch. Laced up the middle, it's through for a base hit. Brenner scoops it up, getting the wave is Burley, and he cruises in, he's fired up, and Newport is back level, 4-4 in the fifth. Stevens. On the ground of the shortstop Landwehr, he throws to third, and it's a chase down. Stevens running back towards third, the tag applied. Meanwhile, the run did score from third. Tyler Hare came home, and Newport is back in the lead. Oh, no. Taken off is the runner, Peterson sliding late, and he's out. The tag applied by Randy Seymour, a dime of a throw from Jake Burley, who pumps his fist. Jake Burley catches Peterson out. One and one. Brady Short gets through the glove. <laughs> Here comes a run into score. The goals increase their lead. The broadcaster jinx in full effect. It's an RBI single for Dixon Williams. Three, two. That ball is into right field over the glove of short. Brini takes the turn. Gregor's throw cut off to Jordan Payton. Runners on the corners. What an at bat from Andrew Duncan. Here comes Dixon Williams. Ball from Pazdera. That ball hit up in the air. Deep center field. Brenner has it. It's going to be enough to score a run. Here comes Brini. Touches home plate. A sack fly for Dixon Williams and it puts the goals up too. So much on the line, 7-6 Newport, bottom nine. Two's across the board. Strike three call, Newport is headed to the Eddie CBL Championship for the second consecutive year. Your final score. Newport Gold 7, New Crystal Blue 6. Congratulations to the Gulls heading back to the NCBL Finals. The Gulls have done it.